Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Look at this lot behind me. Scooters and mini bikes galore. So, I want to talk to you about this today. This just turned up. It was basically sent as a review model. This is a bodgiest C1 Pro, bogus, I don't know about that name. But anyway, this looks really neat. When they offered to send it to me, I thought, do you know what? Yeah, I'm actually going to test that out because I'm sort of searching for a kind of urban mobility solution that's kind of perfect and nothing is perfect really. I mean, you know, if you use an e-bike, you can't actually kind of, you know, go into a shop with it. You can't wheel it in because it's too big um, and you don't really want to be leaving these things locked up outside. So I'm really in favor of kind of like small little vehicles that you can just jump on that aren't kind of really heavy. This is kind of a good example of something that isn't heavy and that just look pretty cool and just do the job. So this is a 500 watt, 48 volt, 13 amp hour, up to 40 kilometers an hour, they say 40 kilometers long range, 10, air, 10 inch air filled tires. I'm reading it off their website. It comes in a massive box and there are different battery options by the looks of things. So this one is the 13 amp hour one. There's a 10 amp hour and also a 20 amp hour one, I think, as well. There you go. This is rear wheel drive only. There's no motor in the front wheel. Nice chunky tires though. And you've got a disc brake on the rear, which is pretty neat. Cable, not hydraulic. And you've got sort of like this hub brake thing on the front. It's got full suspension as well. Suspension on the front and the back. And the first thing I noticed when I got it out of the box is this saddle. Really like it. It's basically like a sort of moped saddle. And I think something like that is actually super useful for, you know, just hopping on and off. You don't want something that's just kind of cut into your backside. Um, also like the light as well at the front. Now, looking in the instructions, it says the light is actually automatically um, activated. So there's no switch for the light, which, well, you know, I'd prefer if there was a switch. Sometimes you want to be discreet. <laughs> I don't know why, but. A few scratches happened in transit, I think. Um, but generally, this is pretty neat as well. You've got like a sort of um, LED display here. So you hold this on and you can see the light has actually come straight on. Um, so, you know, again, if you don't want that on, you've got no way of turning that off. Um, so, you know, you've got a battery meter at the bottom here. It's been on charge a little while already. Um, it did arrive mostly charged. Um, speedo and also your trip meter, I think that must be because I've done a little couple of test runs and that hasn't changed. So you basically just have this little button here which you can just kind of press and it goes through to all the, the settings. Um, medium or mid, medium and high, usual sort of stuff. And with this one, you actually have to disable kickstart each time if you want to just use the throttle. So you just have to hit the throttle once. So you have to hit the button here once after you've um, started it up and then it will disable kickstart each time. So kind of a bit of a safety thing, but um, ultimately, yeah, you don't really want to be having to kickstart. It's just nice to have throttle form the go. Overall, looks really smart, nice and chunky, not particularly heavy, as I say, um, which is good because I've got to basically take it down some steps. Um, this one, the Soda P1, is heavy. Sorry, there's no saddle on that one. But this one's obviously like 2000 watts, so it's pretty crazy. And you don't need that really generally on, on sort of cycle paths and stuff. I like its mixture of plastic and metal. It looks quite neat. It looks like a, you know, a decent quality product. It really does. Um, actually better than some of the other ones I've seen. So what I'm gonna do is flip over to the GoPro, do my errands, do the usual stuff that I do on the scooters, nip into town, see how it goes. Will it get me there and back? Um, how much battery will it use? Is it efficient? Is it you know as good as the others? What what's the deal? Right, first test then. Getting it down the stairs. This is a lot lighter than the other one. This seat at the back. The seat at the back is a little bit awkward to carry it because it's kind of don't know. There's a lot of padding on it. Right, it's got some torque. And for just 500 watts, it actually does have some torque. First thing I'm noticing is that it is stable because you've got the quite chunky tyres, but, 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 there is a but, and that is because the front doesn't have a powered wheel, I mean, this is probably the same as a lot of like the Xiaomi scooters and stuff like that. It feels quite light to me. So it is quite light and not sketchy, but you know, you want to hold on with two hands, which is not what I'm doing right now. I'm loving this seat though. This seat is so comfortable. 
it just feels like you're just on like a moped type thing for just 500 watts as well it has actually got some beans like it probably it's yeah i'm in i'm in the low setting at the moment i'm not in the high setting nice and smooth i can see these tires would be really really good look, look at my flip-flops i'm not exactly in the most appropriate footwear but this is the whole thing i want to be able to jump on something without having to like find a stick a load of gear on or do you know i just want to be able to just jump on this that is the ultimate portable kind of you know personal transport device i think i would actually say in that about the um, front being a little bit oh, oh. <laughs> yeah that's not good so yeah don't do that yeah so it feels like it's got a regen that kicks in a lot of these scooters do so you kind of have you know your normal brake but after a little while um regen will actually kind of kick in um i'm looking where i'm going by the way but uh, so normally like my other scooter it kind of would probably have some not you know make a big clunking noise when i kind of went over this little bit here so i like, see this little lip on this curb I mean that is a lot smoother because you've got just slightly bigger wheels and that it makes a lot of difference just that extra inch or two inches of wheels okay so first thing front brake not having a disc brake on the front i'm missing that already um maybe that's just gonna take a bit of getting used to but there's not a lot of braking power on just the front brake normally i use the front brake to stop pretty much um but yeah i nearly went into the road then <laughs> boy just using the front brake if you put the front brake on at speed you will get some regen braking and it does actually work fairly well but it won't like you know lock the front wheel up which i think you kind of need maybe i can just use both brakes and just see what happens yeah the brakes aren't, aren't great maybe the pads just need wearing in it's lovely and smooth though lovely and smooth um, I think we're in kilometres an hour, um, but it's getting up to speed, it's nice. I'm guessing this is probably about 20. That thing I said about the front wheel skipping about a bit, it's not actually that bad. It's, um, it's actually quite nimble, if anything. And I think if you've got a lighter scooter, then you can't have, it, you can't have everything, can you? You know, if you've got something a bit heavier, it's gonna be a bit more planted, but you know, it feels good. It's got plenty of power from the get-go as well. Like if you're just, you know, waiting to cross a road or something, you can guarantee, you know, you've got enough power to get going. And I'm, I'm not the lightest um, kind of passenger. <laughs> Getting hungry now. I'm gonna go and see my mate. Always get off these things in pedestrian areas because you're just gonna ask for trouble otherwise. I spoke to this dude the other day, he's got an owl. Hey uh, yeah, you all right? It's a super nice lightweight, no trouble pushing it around. Alright mate. Shall I do the same one? Yeah, same, same one stuff. please. He likes peppers, onion, mushroom on fry on the grill and up inside. That's it. That's it. That's it's a vegetarian it. man. <laughs> He's got a photo YouTube. He's a YouTuber. Oh. I don't know. Is he famous? Is he what? I don't know. Is that right there? He's my customer as well. What are these things? What? This is for my brother. And she's gonna make a special wrap straight away now. Special wrap. Hot wrap. What from our to here? And yeah. then yummy. Chilies, pomegranate ah, sauce. Look, 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 all the medicine here, look. Yeah, yeah. All the chili. Oh yeah, look at them. <laughs> Thanks mate. Thank you, my <laughs> See you later. So, as usual, it started to rain. Um, what I'm gonna try doing, see this, I don't know if you can see this hill in the background. This, this is a hill that I normally go up on the other one, it just flies up there, no problem at all. I'm just wondering what, um, you know, a scooter with just sort of 500 water power would actually, is gonna do with me on it, up this hill. So, give it some beans, one-handed as well. So you're slowing down a bit, the other one would just carry on going obviously like a lot more power but um, absolutely fine, there's no issue with that whatsoever, like it's got plenty of power. It's a big old motor on the back of this, he's, he's probably capable of more to be honest. So tasty, right bugger off I'm trying to eat. Right, here 
heading back now because this weather does not look good. Back now. So you can actually see it doesn't need a lot of light for those lights. That's, so they've just turned on automatically. It doesn't need a lot of light for that to happen at all. Motor feels nicely warm. I mean, when it's actually going, it's got quite a good airflow. Because look at this big sort of, basically like a big heat sink. So it does actually cool it quite well. But you notice when you stop, it does heat up. It's not a problem, but you know, it is working quite hard that motor, you can tell. Let's see how much battery I've used. So when you first turn it on, you kind of get a little odometer thing that kind of flashes up, flashes up which is in kilometers and then it goes back to your trip which resets every time anyway i know for a fact my journey was 5.6 miles so there and back the total was nearly six miles I suppose about six miles if you take out take into consideration i was going around the park for a little bit and all that sort of thing so six miles and we've lost two bars of battery i think yeah it's basically two bars of battery so you know in total you've got six six of these so, you know, if you've got six, it's fluctuating between that one there, isn't it, that you can see. Um, so, you know, if you were to split those into two, six, 12, 18, you're probably looking at like 20 miles range. I mean, I was in the high power mode as well. So if you'd done it in eco, it'd probably be a lot less. Um, and, you know, if you weren't going up a lot of hills and all that sort of stuff. But generally, you know, 20 miles range, not bad. You get a very slow charger with this, so it's like a two amp charger, which is pretty standard with all these scooters. Um, so, you know, that's going to take a fair old while to charge, um, you know, a 13 amp hour battery. And they've got quite a nice double insulated, um, you know, water protected socket as well. So it's got a little cap and then that over the top of it as well. So that's pretty neat, you know. So verdict time then, what do I think? I actually really love this scooter. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I actually really like it. And I think this is going to be my scooter of choice for getting in and out of town, doing my little commute. Um, or my little errands, trips and stuff around town when I don't want to take the car because I can't be bothered with parking and all the other hassle with that. Um, it's light, you can wheel it into shops and stuff like that. It's no drama like pushing it around because it's so light. Um, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't clunk about. It's got big wheels so that you can you know, get over obstacles, bump up minor little bumpy curves, things like that. Obviously not full blown curves, you'd probably smash the bottom of the, of the scooter in if you did that. Um, the only thing I will say is the brakes aren't the best, like the front brake probably could have done with having a, a disc brake on there, maybe you could fit one, I don't know. Um, and yeah, generally, that whole headlight thing, I would, I mean, I know they've gone, it, gone at it from like a simplistic thing, they want to obviously put less buttons on there, which is kind of fine, but maybe you could have done something with the power button to turn that on and off. Um, auto headlights, yeah, it's not going to be a deal breaker for most people. Um, but generally, yeah, absolutely love it. I like the seat, the seat in position and everything. It feels comfortable. I feel like I could just ride this around for, for like hours, actually more than like I could just a high power e-bike um, for getting in and out. So yeah, absolutely love it. It just shows how far these things have come. You know, they're working on new designs that are better than the previous designs and like fixing little problems like no clattering suspension here. It's just very, very solid ride and it feels feels super smooth. Now it did actually come with one of these kind of bouncy seat posts, which I took off straight away. I hate them. So please don't put those on there because I know they're, you know, the, the manufacturers, they will put them on because it allows you to fold the seat down because um, you can kind of hook it round. But it just, it's just, they're just horrible. They're just really horrible. I always replace it with this. It's just a really nice modern looking bit of kit. I think you'll agree. And it's actually quite low as well. It's got quite a nice kind of profile. So anyway, guys, I'm not going to fold it up and do all that stuff. You probably watch other videos on how you fold a scooter up. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope you found it useful. If you're thinking about getting a scooter that isn't ridiculously powerful, but isn't super slow, something in the middle, that has a seat and everything else included, I think that's your one. That's your choice. And I'm definitely going to be using this, you know, as my daily driver. I've already decided I'm just going to use it as my daily driver now. Um, and for, for commuting about and doing all the bits I need to do. Perfect. Catch you later, guys.